Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda, welcome. And if you've been here for a while, then welcome back. I'm so glad to have each and every one of you here. So today is Monday, which is my reset videos. And um, we had to clean up the kitchen and we had to clean up the living room, um, which I got done. It's not a whole lot, but I definitely want to share with you guys. I hope that I can offer some encouragement. I hope you're encouraged by this video. Um, maybe some motivation. I'm just so thankful for each and every one of you being here. And, um, yeah, I just appreciate you guys so much. I hope that you enjoy the video. So y'all, we've come to the part of the video where I want to share the devotion from the devotional coloring book, Be Still and Know. And the title of today's devotion is Pray Protection. And the verse is from 1 John 5, 14. And it reads, If someone walks in on you when you're talking to God, they're going to think you're as crazy as a soup sandwich. But that's okay. Prayer is the wonderful way believers communicate with God. We confess our sins. He tell him our secrets air life's hurts and frustrations to him and present our request to him when we pray we praise him we sing we dance and other times it's nice to just sit in the big silence that god makes when he's there with you in the room god doesn't need our prayers to act on our behalf he requires them scripture calls for us to pray for those who persecute us to pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. To devo devote ourselves to prayer and being watchful and thankful. And to pray continually. Jesus was always going off by himself to find a solitary place to pray. We should follow his example. Prayer is our greatest weapon against the enemy. When we pray for ourselves and our family, friends, co-workers, neighbors, country, and the world, a calm confidence replaces the worry and anxiety in our hearts. The fear that grips us is replaced by faith when we pray. Jesus saves, heals, protects, and delivers. Prayer brings God's protection. Prayer brings God's provision. Prayer brings God's peace. Father, thank you for the peace that comes with surrendering all to you. Thank you for hearing my prayers and answering them in the perfect way at the perfect time. I trust you. And guys, I'm sorry to get emotional. But um, we are, you know, not our immediate family, but we have a friend that's um, sick. And it's just a trying time. Um for our family, you know, and for his family, um, a couple of my friends on here I have reached out to and they are praying. And I'm just going to ask that y'all would um, remember him in your prayers too. It would be appreciated. Um, so this devotion was such a blessing to me when I read it. It was perfect timing. And, you know, it's, it's, um, funny when people you're in situations and some people don't have hope but these are also lost people that we're speaking about and we read in the bible about god's miracles you know and i've seen them and i'm sure y'all can attest numerous times that y'all seen him work in your life and the life of those around you and we had church tonight we went to visit him today 
And we had church tonight, and, um, you know, our pastor called on my husband to dismiss church, and we, the church prayed, we prayed. It's just a burden, you know, that God has put on us, and, of course, we love and care for this person dearly. You know, he pretty much is family. Um, my husband has known him since the seventh grade, and so he's always been around um, for you know, since I've met my husband and we married and our boys have come along. So, he's like a brother to my husband and an uncle to the boys. So, means a lot to us. And, um, you know, my husband dismissed church. And it was hard because he, you know, was praying. He, he got emotional about it too. You love and you care for somebody. But when church was over, um, he told me, he said, I have peace. You know, that, that God is going to. You know, his will is going to be done, but I'm at peace with it. And I was thankful, you know, when he told me that. But I wanted to talk to you guys. I've been praying and kind of talking to the Lord. And to be honest with you, I didn't even know if a video would go out today. Um, just to be honest. But I feel like it needs to. And I just wanted to share a couple of verses on joy. And as I was flipping through my Bible and my little Bible promise book, it's what stuck out. You know, I've been asking, I don't know what to, I don't know what to share, Lord, you know, just help me. And the verses on joy, I flipped through and I stopped on that. And I just wanted to share some with you because it's, I feel like it's just so important, especially in times like this, it's so hard. But I just want to remember, you know, what God's Word says. And to remember that He doesn't leave us or forsake us. And we still have joy being His children. So I just thought that I would share a, a few verses with you. Um, the first one is, These things I have spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy might be full. John fifteen eleven. And then in Psalms, we read, The righteous shall be glad in the Lord, and shall trust in Him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Psalms 64 and 10. And that is, in situations like this, we have to trust in the Lord. We have to just pray, and we, we bring our prayers to the Lord. We lay them at His feet, and we just trust Him, you know, for His will, and He knows. And then it says, But let the righteous be glad, let them rejoice before God, yea, let them exceedingly rejoice. Psalm 68, 3. And then the last one is, For our heart shall rejoice in him, because we have trusted in his holy name. And when I read that one, it was just such a blessing, because that is exactly what we're doing. You know, we're just trusting. And it's not, it's like that in every situation. It may not be as serious as what we're going through with right now, but any situation, it's trust in Him, regardless. So, I hope that you were encouraged by the devotion and by the verses. I am, like I said, I, I'm sorry that I have, I'm emotional, but it's just, this is how it is. You know, this is what we're dealing with right now. And I want to be open and honest and up up front with you guys so you are family and I'm thankful for you and I know by sharing that just more prayers are going up for him so I do appreciate it and I appreciate each and every one of you guys I love you and I'm so thankful for you So guys, when I was, I started doing the dishes this night, it was like um, 11.30 on Friday night, 
it has just been oh it's been a week and it's been a lot of late nights and I was um Jamie was taking a shower and oh I was so happy when I seen him come in there to help me it made things go a lot faster and I always enjoy you know when we kids are in bed in their room and we're just um talking and it you know I'm just so thankful I'm so blessed and thankful for him to come in there and um, of course he helps me but a lot of times I don't show it on camera but he said it was fine you know for me to for me to leave this in so I just I wanted to share with you and he's actually sitting down he has um sciatica so if he stands in one you know one position for too long then his leg will go completely numb so but that's why he's standing staying a uh, setting but I was so thankful for his help it meant so much So guys we are coming to the end of today's video and I realized on Thursday's video that I told y'all I would talk more about the giveaway today um, I'm, I apologize that'll be at a later date it's just not something that I've really had much time to focus on so I do apologize for that I really do um, as soon as I can I will let y'all know about it I am so thankful for each and every one of y'all I don't want to um, I just, I, I don't want to bring anybody down. I just want to be a joy and I want to glorify the Lord. And I hope that y'all were encouraged by this video. I really do. I thank y'all for being here. You know, y'all were, y'all were friends. So I just want to talk to you like I would if you were sitting right next to me. And it's a joy in knowing that I have y'all. You know, you may be hundreds of miles away, but it's as if you're sitting right next to me. So I just want to be open and share. Um, I hope that y'all have a blessed and fantastic week. I, I hope your, your days are filled with joy. I'm thankful for y'all and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. I love you and Lord willing, we will see y'all on the next one. Be blessed.